right, so we're going to be doing some work on the Jeep today, so come along with me and let's go get the Jeep. Leaving the bus behind right now because we've got our side all torn up. Let's see if we can get that in there. Right there, they had to dig it up for the septic. So, we're parked all the way over here, so we're going to walk on down there. Do something about the jet ski so we can do some work on this thing. Okay, so here's what we're working on. Got a little bit of a hole there in the side of the Jeep. So I'm gonna be just doing the outside right here for right now. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do this piece underneath afterwards. So let's see if we can find our patch piece and get to it. We're gonna be patching that hole down there. Got some tools set out and ready to go here. Um, turns out the battery for my drill is dead. So I've got that on the charger right now. And uh, yeah, so we have this patch panel right here. This uh, is from one of the old fenders. I took, I pulled the fenders off and I put those flat fenders on there. You can kind of see those. Uh, so yeah, I have a piece of metal for that. So I'm gonna be sticking that in there. But for right now, we're gonna be doing some prep work on this and then taking off the steps right there because we've got something else in store for that area.
Okay. So, right down here, we have our patch panel. I had to do a little custom trimming and molding and whatever you want to call it, but there it is. All ready to go. Sitting on top of our shop towels. <laughs> so, a little backstory. Uh, at work, we use old t shirts and other types of shirts that are torn up and made into towels that we wipe our dirty hands on and then throw away or during the winter we use them as fire starters but so I was talking to one of the guys at work about my plans and we opened a new box of rags and he pulled out a whole bundle I could have almost put the shirt back together I'm, I think I was missing one or two pieces but yeah craziness right so let's go see how this fits See the body's not perfectly straight, but with a little bit of body work, that will be perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna get this set up and ready to weld and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So what we're doing right now is we're setting up my welder. It's a DR fabricator, three phase, does make TIG and stick welding. But last time I used it, I was doing stick welding with it. So right now I'm setting it back up for some flux core MIG wire because I'm out of gas right now to do gas welding. So let's do that real quick.
one. Actually, all three corners that I've welded so far, I've had a little blow through. So I had to build those back up and weld them back in. And that's just simply because the metal was really soft right there. Um, it had been obvious that there had been bodywork done there before. Uh, somebody had tried to just bondo over the rust and it just kept growing underneath the bondo. So I went through and gouged it all out and went around the bondo and cut that hole in the side so that all the rust would uh, be cut out of there and wouldn't continue. And then I treated all of what you saw on the inside. I treated with uh, stuff. Gosh, I don't even remember the name of it. Um, pour 15. That's what it was. It was pour 15 that I used. I treated all that and then it was kind of body color because I got a spray can from O'Reilly's of paint just based off of the, the paint code off of the body. So it's not quite a perfect match, but it, I mean, it did good enough for the time being. Uh, that's what I'm going to use to touch this up. And then once I get done doing the rest of the body work, as you can see all the primer spots and stuff, um, I've just got to finish up that down there, do a touch of body work over it. And there's a couple spots on the other side that need a touch of body work. And then I'm going to be sanding it all down. And I'm just going to paint the entire thing because here goes take a walk. So, I mean, I'm not going to be painting the front fenders because, as you can see, they've got a texture paint to them, just like the front bumper, which I need to touch up because they had these annoying little hoops that came up like that that were like right in front of the headlight. Right in front of the turn, that's my turn signal right there. So it was right in front of the turn signal. And it just, it just looked silly. I mean, they stuck out like out here, like past the edge of the fender, past the edge of the bumper even. And they just, they looked goofy. So I decided I would just cut them off. I never used them for anything other than like hooking myself on trees and such. So those are off. We're going to get that taken care of. And the hood, as you can see, was kind of... They went along this body line right here because Jeeps are notorious for the clear coat peeling. But they did that and just put a black primer all the way over. And you can see where it goes up the cowl right there. And then on, right along the bottom of the windshield. And my windshield trim needs to be repainted because I lost that seal. It goes up across the top of the windshield there. Yeah, and I lost that, and I uh, had my hard top on all winter without it, and had like towels stuffed up in there, and when it got to raining hard enough, and I was driving down the road, it was literally blowing the rain in, like right up my face, so I went and got some flex seal tape, and I ran flex seal tape across the front of it, and it worked perfectly, but as you can see, it left this wonderful residue that we've got up here, so I'm going to have to grind that all out and everything, so that'll be fun, but yeah. So she's going to get repainted. I still got to take off the step deals from that side. But, yeah, I mean, otherwise there's a little dent right there. And I think, I think that was it for this side. Yeah, that's really all I got to do, that side of it. And then, uh, all right, I got the uh, patch all welded in and ground down and went looking for my body filler and can't find it anywhere. So that and I can't find any primer. So right now, I'm just gonna spray it with some body color paint. I'm gonna knock that off when we get back with some body filler and primer. That'll keep us covered up until we get back with some primer and body filler so we can smooth that out so it doesn't look like the hot mess that it looks right now. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. 
put paint on it. It looks so much worse. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all our latest content. Hit that like button. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. And feel free to leave us any feedback down below in the comment section. We'll catch you next time in the next video.